Apart from 59 initial lists of pilot schools identified by the Department of Education and the Department of Health for the limited face-to-face -face classes, 29 schools have backed out for the pilot implementation of in-person learning. According to DepEd, the main reason for this was that parents and the local government units were not in favor of holding physical classes due to fear of COVID-19 infection. A very good day! I bid to our wise and deep English educator, Mom Nazima Basilio, and respected audience. This day, I would like to talk about how ready we are in conducting face-to-face -face learning amidst pandemic. Are we ready for it? Are you ready for it? Or are we ready to seek for the truth that health is at risk in implementing face-to-face -face learning. If I were to be asked the same question, I would not agree. Why? Because I firmly believe that health is wealth and that health is an important matter we should not risk. Especially to those students like us who are most likely to get infected when it comes to diseases like COVID-19. First and foremost, students 16 below or even those 65 above or the persons who are vulnerable are enough to be the primary reason why we should not consider allowing face-to-face -face classes while in the middle of a pandemic. Second, face-to-face -face classes might be hassle to some students who need to take a bunch of kilometer just to reach school. Evidently, it costs much time and travel. Lastly, as the pandemic was introduced publicly, together with its details, do you think that the parents would allow their children to go to school without getting worried if their sons or daughters might be infected with the virus? At this point of time, face-to-face -face classes is not practical for students. Most students might want to have face-to-face -face classes because the lessons in this mode of learning can be explained thoroughly. But with the help of their passion in learning mixed with hard work, I'm sure it will leave them saying the phrase, Oh! It's just a piece of cake. As we notice and realize, face-to-face -face classes is not bad. But, distance learning is not bad either. In conclusion, distance learning can contribute to stop the spread of the virus so that we can all go back to our normal environment and enjoy the face-to-face -face classes we all want. Once again, this is Elisha Faisinko saying that the good of the people is the greatest law. Thank you so much.